So, next, or Colin, or Mark Gonzalez, well known by all of you, all of you I mean Jason, uh, Dev, and all the, the people from Endpoint, Andrew from Sydney, and the other people that we will watch in this video. Uh, Mark has been doing a, a demo case for Liquid Galaxy. There are something like four different demos. Um, please, you're free, you're playing it. Hello, uh, my name is Mark. Uh, I studied computer science and uh, master's, and now I'm doing my PhD in uh, final processing. And I'm going to explain the project that I've developed this year for the Google uh, Code. It's called Panoramic Interactive Lake Tracker, uh, built for the prep. And uh, we have developed a different use case uh, to get the ability to add uh, different use cases external use cases to my, my own project. The first of the projects that I will explain is the Chrome races and the A races. The first scope of this project was to get the, the capability to display synchronous and asynchronous data over the, the liquid galaxy. But uh, we discovered that it was a uh, hard work because uh, it's you know, so difficult to find open APIs to get the information. So at the end, what we have done is to get uh, well to display asynchronous data from different kind of web pages or uh, information that we, we have been able to uh, recite. So uh, if we enter into the ground races or the A races, there they look similar. You will see that the internet connection here is uh, pretty slow. So the point is we can see the different kind of competitions it were similar in the growth races or in the A races. So if we enter in one of them, we'll be able to see the task uh, on this competition. Uh, to explain this uh, more accurately, um, in uh, air competition, the, the people who organize the, the, the competition gives to the participants uh, some kind of uh, geolocalization um, object that stores every second uh, information about the longitude, latitude, uh, time stamp, and other kind of data about all the tracks of the participant. It means that if a task takes something like two or three hours, we'll have something like uh, 200,000 uh, lines of information. So what we are doing is to uh, mix all this information and compress it to be able to display it into the galaxy. So in the, in the form, it's really easy because we just have to uh, send the, the zip file with all the information about the participant. And the system will do the trick, will decompress all this information, store it in, in files, and create all the localizations for every uh, participant in every moment of the, uh, of the race. But uh, if I came back to the, um, to the task, for example, if I'm going to the task five, I will be able to see all the participants who, who run in this competition. If I press on the, uh, on the red button, uh, the system will fly to the place where the task happens. So here we can see the, the path of the of the flyer. The paragliding flyer. Yeah, this is paragliding. a paragliding flyer. So what I was saying is we press one of the participants, we are sending the, the path of the paragliding participant into the liquid galaxy and for more we can add more participants if we press the other button. So we can add as many participants as we want. Let me press more participants. So as you can see, we can add as much participant as we want. Moreover, if we press, for example, the rotation inside the path of the of the participant, well, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it works more or less. It's uh, pretty slow, but... This is doing an orbit yeah. around the path. It tries to find the center of, the, of all the paths that the participants have done, and then 
MSR Soros 8? We have three participants now on the screen. Yeah. And now if you try to move the space navigator, uh, you know that possibly you can go far away because the space navigator is fixed. And if we want to uh, gain the control, it's just we have to stop and then we can continue moving. Let me move a little bit. Yeah. Because this is the more interesting thing. You are fully 3D on the path that the paragliding flyer gone across the... This is the... What is it? No, this uh, is Piedra, uh, Piedra Ita. Yeah. Paco Recuerdos! Okay, so this, yeah. so okay. this is how it works, the, the first two use cases, the ground races and the air competition works. Uh, could you please explain uh, for a second what, what was the, how we get the data and what, what the data is? Yeah, uh, the people who create the competition give to the participants uh, a geo-competition uh, item, I don't know the exact name of that, and when they go to fly, uh, this, this item is storing every second the, the position where they are, and they uh, store this, all the information in the IGC file. It's uh, some kind of a specific format from this kind of uh, object. Uh, now what we are doing is get this, these files and extract all the information that we want and compressing to, to being able to display into the into the galaxy. Because we try to uh, display these 200,000 points, but uh, the system goes really slow, so, so we we had to uh, compress all the all this information for and for that we can see that the lines are uh, are really striped. They are not doing the, the core work on like that. I hope that I answer your uh, the, the the company that helped us was a team a Yes, yes, we have gave the data from Air Tribune and from Paco Ibanez who and it was the, some kind the of Open Iberico Liga Nacional yeah. as a sample. Okay, continue please. Okay. So, yeah, where I would say, uh, we have been in these previous cases, the ground races and the air races. And now uh, I'm going to explain the IDBT, the uh, Industrial Drone Inspection Visualization Tool. Uh, we have developed this, this demo use case with uh, our colleagues from the MAC who has sent us the, the data to do that. And what we are doing is collect the information about um, this electric tower that will be appear here we are, and mix into a, a file system storage with different image about the, the towers. So if we want to uh, check one of these towers, we can approach to one of them slowly, like for example this one, and it will appear the image about uh, the tower, the image that they have, they have taken. So if we want, for example, to another tower, uh, it will happen that, for example, uh, we don't have data about that, so we won't be able to see that. We are just displaying information about the tower that that we have information. Or, for example, if you go really close to a, to a, to a tower, the, the information will be replied in the, in the other screen. So at this point, we can decide if, if we work with zero something uh, We can decide where we want to display the information. Maybe some image in the left screen or the right screen, and a video in the other screen. So it's just up to, up to us to uh, decide how we want to display all these data information. So, the thing is to show that this is fully integrated with the other app and across the screen. Also, we can fly freely. And then when we approach the one part of the sky information, the information will show up. Is that correct? Yes. They are more or less, yes. Yeah. We have here the numbers of the towers. The 
thing is that we can stop, for example, my uh, my application and launch. Look at the camera. You're on the screen. <coughs> As Ivan has explained, we have all the different projects from uh, the last year and this year, and it's really easy to stop, for example, my project and try to launch the every project. So now, if we wait a while to get the information. Uh, yep. Here we can see the daily project running and we have the same uh, features that Moises has explained us. We can decide the decrease of the size and say, okay, go to Valle Tavares. If I press, I can modify. Oops, sorry, I'm with that. Okay, we can uh, decide uh, this is the path that we want to uh, visit, we can check someone to find, like Andrew Ivania. Thank you. I'm a this person. And then just uh, press the play button. So here we can see the, the path that the drones will will follow, and we are sending this, this information to my system. So if I close uh, this now and I go to, uh, to my project, I can Stop again the Ivory and I can launch the field project again and when it opens we should be able to uh, see the new mission that we have created. Sometimes it take, takes a, a while to appear but... It's a matter of slow yeah. Wi-Fi, no, uh, so not the so uh, Just waiting. Now here we just have to Eight, 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 eight here. So if I press this, I should be able to launch the path that I just created right here. So we can see in 3D the tiny else that Moises was creating for the uh, project with the path of the of the drones. So explain what, what are the different colors? Uh, different colors are, uh, every color is from uh, one drone and it represents the, the path of... Uh, because you have uh, selected that this mission, uh, it has to take uh, yeah, that space. Know, yeah, you launch four, five, four, different, yeah, four, different, four different drones and those, every color is the, the area, the path that one of the drones will, will follow. Yeah. Okay. And that's all. So the good point is that if at the future, we find uh, another project that works similar, like Moises, like uh, creating a different kind of female. So we can just add it here in this platform, and ultimately we'll we'll be able to uh, add these females to our system and launch into our Liquid Galaxy uh, platform. And that's all. Thank you for your time. Uh, okay, nice. Spent two minutes only explaining the fourth one. Yeah, I, I know that it's what? not the, the other, the fourth case. The no, you don't. You don't have to demo it. At least, at least explain what because you have developed. You have to spend time on this. Yeah. And well, I changed a little. Uh, the, I said that the ground races and the air races were were similar, but it's not it's not uh, real like this because what we are trying to do at the at the first at the beginning uh, is uh, getting information, for example, about marathons or, uh, for example, if I'm going to run with a friend. I would like to display this information into the galaxy. And, and coming to the screen to say thank you to Julio Bombilla. Oh yes, that it will be shown. You can see all the all the races that you have created, and uh, if the data the, the data arrives, it will start to send <coughs> information about the system 
like creating a KML uh, directly. But um, I have this in the in the uh, in the iPhone, and it's not uh, it's not what we we want. No, here, here you're wrong. In, uh, you're wrong. You're wrong. What do you mean? Because this is for Google? No, you're wrong. <laughs> you, Apple users are one of the biggest user for Google platforms. So for example, if you want to uh, go to one of the races, you can see a set of participants, like within participants called uh, waiting, still waiting. No, but that's really I, what I want. Well, yeah, no. This is the participants of the, the circuit. Uh, the point is, if you are going, if, if you are inside of one of the races and you go to a uh, Race for a while, uh, you will be storing information with one of these participants if you are one of them. And more or less what I've done with that. So I think that's all. Okay, so okay. thank you.